Hello, my name is Kenechiku Akamatalu, better known as Kenny. I'm a fourth year electrical engineering major here at UC Santa Barbara. Um, I chose to study electrical engineering uh, here at UC Santa Barbara pretty much because I knew it had a top-notch program. I heard a lot about it from school counselors and other people that were uh, affiliated with my high school. And on top of that, UC UCSB as just a place and an environment was really nice and really appealing. What I, what I enjoy about electrical engineering the most, the most is, uh, is just the challenge of it. Um, every quarter, you know, you're gonna go into, you know you're going to go into something that's difficult and challenging and rewarding, and you feel like what you're learning is actually going to be relevant when, when you uh, leave this school. And another good thing I really enjoy is the, um, the camaraderie. Because the courses are so difficult and there are only a few amount of engineers in the school relative to the whole, whole campus, we tend to work a lot together. You get to know one another. Um, one great thing about UC Santa Barbara is the vast amount of opportunities for undergraduate research. Uh, a lot of other big research universities, I don't know how, how much they push for undergraduates to do research, but here they make it a priority. For me, that was really important because where I'm from, I, don't, I didn't really know much about electrical engineering. I knew a lot about physics and math, but I didn't really know like, how these things were used. So getting that early research experience kind of let me put in perspective what I would be learning in the classroom to uh, something actually tangible. I've done a few projects. Uh, the most relevant project is a project I, I uh, undertook last summer under uh, Dr. Umesh Mishra and uh, my graduate student mentor was Matthew Laurent. And what they had me doing, uh, I was working with solar cells. And we wanted to see how these uh, indium gallium nitride based solar cells kind of performed against uh, solar flux concentration. So what I would do is I would go outside um, with a big lens, kind of like a magnifying glass, and kind of concentrate sunlight on a sample and see as we, as we, as we vary the intensity of that concentration, how the sample would perform in terms of its, um, the voltage, the, the short circuit current, and uh, other metrics that um, tell us how, how well our solar cell is performing. And um, that was a good experience for me. Uh, I don't necessarily plan on going into that field, but just that I had that knowledge. And it definitely helped me out when I took his class in, uh, the following fall, ECE 132, which is a semiconductor physics. Um, another thing I was able to do was uh, work with student orgs. Last year, I, had to, uh, I was fortunate enough to be the co-chair for the National Society for Black Engineers. And um, that organization is very close to me because uh, I want to see an improvement in the retention of African Americans in, that are studying STEM, that is uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And um, just to see the amount of support that I got from the College of Engineering when I took on that, uh, that effort and also other programs like uh, the MESA program and Los Ingenieros, which is another student org, seeing that kind of support from the school was really, was really positive and seeing that they really wanted to take a step to really recruit more and retain more uh, African Americans in, the, in this good, wonderful field of electrical engineering. So right now, um, I am currently applying for a few graduate schools. And hopefully, uh, when the fall 2012 comes, I'll be in one of these graduate programs um, pursuing a PhD in the area of controls and, ro and or robotics.